everyone, this is Verlin Biker and I kind of got stuck and I'm now on the highway. So, a lot of people ask me, how is it like to ride on this highway? Well, I'm going 75, my 2019 Royal Enfield Continental GT650. No performance upgrades have been made as of right now. And I'm in sixth gear at about, let's see, half throttle. Um, the road is very weird in Michigan. Do you see? I don't know if you guys can see it, if it's going too fast. There's basically like a bunch of little ridges in it. And if you see, the bike kind of goes back and forth a bit. It's not the most secure feeling of, it's not, it's not a very safe feeling, honestly. Um, at 65 or so, you don't feel it at all. But, well, you feel it a little bit. You feel like it kind of goes back and forth but not crazy. But once you get past that 70 range, you definitely feel it. And it's not a, it's not a safe feeling at all. Um, what happened is what I was riding and my watch and my phone is set right now to, uh, make sure I'm going right the way. All right. My, my watch and phone and Google Maps was set right now to no motorways. And I don't know if I hit the wrong button or something happened, but I'm definitely on a motorway. So this is definitely my fault. Um, at any moment, I feel like I could probably pull off and get back onto a, a normal street. Um, but I felt like this was a good video just to show you guys that like, yeah, this bike is capable of cruise, not cruising. This bike will, bike is capable. That's an interesting building. The bike is capable of hitting 75 or so, 80 miles an hour. But it's definitely not a confident 75 or 80 miles an hour. If I wanted to be hitting 75 or 80, hell, throw me on a Goldwing, throw me on an R1, throw me on anything basically with a front windshield. Um, just something to block the wind. Because right now you guys know this bike, it's very straight up and down. Um, I hate these crossings. That's something else. And I don't know if it's these wheels or the weight or something. Whenever there's like, see how there's a difference in uh, the, the part of the street that I'm on in the middle section of the left section, how is that that little line? I feel the changes of the road a lot on this bike. And I've mentioned that before in previous videos where it's very, I don't, are you gonna stay in your lane, Dodge, Journey? It's something that's like, it's a small feeling at times, but it, sometimes it's much larger of a feeling where it almost feels like the tire is not going to make the trip up and over the ledge. It's, a, it's not a very safe feeling at all. Um, make sure no one's coming behind, good. I don't know where I'm kind of going with this video. I just wanted you guys to see like what it's like to ride a Royal Enfield on a highway. Right, and whatever you want to call this highway. And it's definitely not a freeway, but it's definitely a motorway. Um, there's 80. Um, that was full throttle at 80. It kept climbing. I just decided to not keep climbing because there's a car in front of me. But you see the shake? There's a little bit of shake. And I don't know why there's that shake. I don't know if there's anything I can do with it. I never took, I didn't take the bar, weighted bars, weighted, bar ends. There we go. Weighted bar ends um, out of the bike. So that should be helping. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I could do to like add a little more something something up front. If you know what I mean. Uh, you gonna merge on over. You hear that back crackle? It sounds good. Ba -ba -ba. But I think that's it for now, guys. Uh, once again, I just wanted to show you, since I have had a lot of people ask me, like, oh, can can you ride an interceptor on the highway? Can you do it on long trips? Um, long trips, uh, it depends on what you mean by long trips. Are you doing it on a single day? Like, if someone's like, <coughs> sorry, dry throat. If someone was like, could you do 300 miles in a day on this bike? I would tell you it would be a very uncomfortable day. I rode 250 miles in two days, like a few weekends ago. And my uh, my gentleman area, ooh, what does Top Gear call it? Gentleman sausage. 
was a bit raw. The seat is the seat looks great. It's definitely not the most comfortable. That is for sure. Um, even like now, like I've done what 80 miles or 70 miles at the end of today, going back and forth to the dealership and stuff, and I feel it just a little bit. A little something something if you know what I mean. Um just make sure we're good there. Um so yeah, if you guys have any questions about your Royal Enfield, if you're interested in buying one, I am your go-to source for Royal Enfield US knowledge. I wonder if I am the biggest YouTuber Royal Enfield YouTuber in the US. There are a lot of them in India. That's for sure. I wonder if I'm the biggest one in the U.S. If you know of a bigger one, oh, well, let me know. I'd be very interested to find out. We could start a YouTube clan. All right, that's it, guys. <laughs> um, if you like what you've heard so far, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Ooh, you are just fucking large and German and in charge. Is that a stretch? It's not the stretched, but it's just the normal 750 X drive. Gotta have that all-wheel drive and uh, some chunky tires on that sedan. Uh, gotta have that all-wheel drive in Michigan. But okay, I'm getting off track because cars excite me and I get distracted fairly easy because I have ADHD. I don't know if I really do. It's not something I should joke about, but I probably should get tested. Hey, look, it's my truck. Oh, it doesn't have the LED package, bitch. All right, guys, that is it for now. Drop a comment below if you got questions. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I think I guess you gotta be like one of those, those YouTubers that are, smash that subscribe button and click that bell to make sure you always know what I'm up to at all times. I don't know where the South Park accent came from, but it definitely came out of something. Where am I at? Five miles, whoo, just conquered 10 miles real quick. That's nice. Feels good, boys and girls, to do that. Come on, Explorer, merge on over. Nice signal. Very nice signal. Appreciate you not knowing how to drive a fucking car. And let other people know your intentions. All right, officially out. Goodbye, everybody. Ride safe. GoPro, stop recording.